There we go. And so now, in another one minute, it should cut on and start dispensing the dog food out. Let's see what happens. Oh, and there it goes. All right, so today we're back with another pet product, this time a new smart pet feeder. So today we have this G400 smart pet feeder. This one allows you, of course, to set the time and then set a few different meals throughout the day with portion sizes so you can feed your dog or cat without you having to uh, deal with it, essentially. It makes life much, much easier, trust me. So of course, we're gonna get on the overhead rig and go through the unboxing of this, and then we'll set it up and show you it actually working. So click like, click subscribe, and let's check out the smart pet feeder. All right, so let's open up our G400 Smart Pet Feeder. Now, uh, front of the box and back of the box are essentially identical other than the little dog and cat at the bottom. Scientific feeding, eating healthy at the bottom of the box. Oh, little paw and cat litters. Just their logo at the top, Poppy Feed. And then this side, Poppy Feed Automatic Pet Feeder. And then over here, suitable for cat, dog, rabbit, squirrel, or small pets. 5 to 10 millimeter dry food, 3.5 liter capacity, and it has a 5 volt power adapter as well as it takes four AA batteries. So that way if you lose power, your cat or dog would still get fed. So let's open this up and take a look at it. I like that little design there. I like it. So right on top is our user's guide. So this should tell us how to set the time and all of that kind of a uh, function. Then, let's put the cardboard here. Wow, well, that's it for the box. So here is everything else. So on the bottom, there's where your power plug goes in. That's to power it. And then, of course, this is where the four AA batteries can go to give you a battery backup. And that should only get used when this power goes out. So, and uh, yeah, plus button, minus button, looks like a back and like a return button. And looks like you got some uh, information there on how to set everything. So we'll peel this off for use later. That there. So let's get into the top. So the top has one of these in it to keep everything fresh. And it seems to just snugly pops in there don't really there's no latch or anything we got the top we've got oh, all of our accessories just a bag so there's where the food goes down in the bottom and that just rotates to let more food in and dumps it out of course this says safety lock what is this for so it looks like this has double-sided uh velcro here you put this on each side and then you can put this across the top to make sure it doesn't uh, come off. That's pretty nice. An included power brick. So there's the USB power brick. And then here is the cable. So just probably three to four feet of a cable, but proprietary. So keep that in mind. And so this just plugs into here and then can easily run out of that. So that's good. The other side, of course, goes in here and then into power and then the last part looks like the tray so this seems to uh connect in right here just kind of slides right into place and then of course there's the added tray here there we go so let's uh let's go ahead and plug this so we're gonna plug this into power so it's powered on and then uh let's uh, go through getting this thing set up all right, so it looks like first thing we're on is the time. So to set the time, we hold this button and it should flash. There we go. And so it's currently four, we'll say 14. There we go. All right, so four fourteen. Now the next thing to do is to set a meal. So to set a meal, we will hold this button and then we'll keep holding it for a few seconds. Now it wants to know the time. So we want this one to be at 4.17, which is in about 18, three minutes from now. And the amount of portions, we're gonna go maximum. So six portions is the max. And then there we go. Now we're on to number two. So we'll just hit the top button to save. And now in three minutes, this should go off and put food into this pole. 
So let's go give it a try. All right, so we have a bowl of dog food. We will move our top, pour in our dog food. There we go. And so now, in another one minute, it should cut on and start dispensing the dog food out. Let's see what happens. Oh, and there it goes. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And number six, I think, was the first one. So that worked very well. Very easy setup. Absolutely can't complain. And you can see we got a whole bowl of uh, dog food here. So depending on how much food your dog's supposed to have, you may have to do like two of those back to back. But either way, nice little setup, I think. So there you go. That should do it for this smart pet feeder setup. All right, so that should do it for this smart pet feeder. Now, basically, as you can see, most of your options are these two buttons here and the plus and minus just lets you change through those. And so what I mean there is like, this is how you uh, change your Swift through your meal settings. And this is how you hold the set to time and use that to save the settings. These all just increase and decrease. So as you can see here, basically you're just using the two buttons on the right and uh, up and down for everything else. Very easy setup. It's not smart in the sense that it uses an app, but it's smart in the sense that, well, you're able to put the time in and tell it when to feed your dog or cat. Trust me, making your life a lot easier. When me and Amanda first got together, one of the biggest issues I had was when we'd have to rush home to feed Zeppelin. So this uh, kind of solved that for us because he gets automatically fed. So I'll of course have this exact model linked down below in my description. I think that will do it for today's video. I've of course recorded all this in one day. So every video this week, I believe I have the same outfit on because yeah, I mean, I've only recorded one day. So thank you all for watching though. Click like, click subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.